are going to discuss about the Miller's theorem. Now come to the statement, the Miller theorem is used to establish that in a linear circuit, if there exists a branch of impedance Z that is connected between two nodes having different voltages as voltage V1 and V2 that can be replaced by two branches connecting from the corresponding nodes to the ground and those are replaced by Z1 and Z2. It means if any element that be connected between two nodes that can be split into two branches with reference to the corresponding node to the ground. Now come to the corresponding derivation of the Z1 and Z2 in terms of Z. This is the pictorial representation actually we are going to be having. Let's consider Z is the impedance connected between two nodes, node 1 and node 2 having different voltages V1 and V2. The current flowing from the V1 is the I1, current flowing from the V2 is I2. It has been get replaced as like this. We are splitting the Z into two parts as Z1 and Z2 from the corresponding node to the reference. Now we are going to derive the Z1 and Z2 values. To derive this one, we are going to take the figure 1 into consideration. Let the Z1 derivation. Let we are going to be calculating the current I1 is the voltage difference V1 minus V2 by Z. Take out the V1 as a common term and the equation is going to be modified as 1 minus V2 by V1 by Z. The take out the V1 towards the left side, I1 by V1 equal to 1 minus V2 by V1, nothing but output voltage to the input voltage. We are taking that as the corresponding voltage gain as AV with respect to the Z. And flip this one so that we are going to be having V1 by I1 is equal to Z by 1 minus AV itself equal to Z1 equal to Z by 1 minus AV. This we can observe from the figure 2 as V1 by I1 is nothing but the Z1 and the same we are going to be replacing here as Z by 1 minus AV. Now we are going to derive the Z2 derivation of Z2. The similarly from the e figure 1 we are calculating the I2 I2 equal to V2 minus V1 by Z. Take out the V2 as a common term. We get 1 minus V1 by V2 with respect to Z. Then we are writing I2 by I1 equal to 1 minus 1 by AV with respect to Z. And flip the same, we are going to be having V2 by I2 equal to Z by 1 minus AV is equal to Z2 equal to AV into Z by AV minus 1. And this is the corresponding Miller's theorem and derivation of and respect to derivations of Z1 and Z2 values on either side of the circuit. This is used to minimize the corresponding circuit which is going to be having a complex representation and the element is sharing between the two different nodes by using this particular procedure. Thank you. For, for more videos, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get the latest notification. Thank you.